weekend overnight in South Suburban Lansing has police working with federal law enforcement to solve a series of burglaries in both Lansing and Chicago that may be connected. And Jewel Hillary is live on the Mag Mile with that story tonight. Jewel. Hi, good evening, Lourdes and Ray. We're outside of the Canada Goose Store on North Michigan Avenue, where several suspects broke in at the end of January. And police are saying that the burglary here, as well as a couple in Lansing, are related. A very early Thursday morning around 245, surveillance video captures two suspects. One appears to use a hammer and the other uses his feet to smash through Pelcher's shooter supply. A firearms and ammunition store in the 18100 block of Henry Street in Lansing. Once inside, the suspects, masked and gloved, run through the store, stealing several items from shelves. Authorities say they didn't get away with any guns. In a Thursday night press release from Lansing Police, officials say Thursday morning's burglary at Pelcher's is related to two other retail burglaries. One of those was reported at Pelcher's on January 25th, and the second one was reported on January 30th at the Canada Goose Store in Chicago at 800 North Michigan Avenue. It's believed police are looking for these three suspects in connection to the three different but similarly orchestrated crimes. In the Canada Goose surveillance video, you can see a white SUV that looks like the same vehicle captured in the video from Pelcher's. Before several suspects run through the store grabbing dozens of coats, one suspect also uses what looks like a hammer to break in and make their entrance. Now anyone with information on those suspects should call Lansing or Chicago police. Reporting live in Streeterville, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.